video i will talk about random forest why this random forest is in most of the cases is better than decision tree and how does it improve the predictions accuracy in the simplest case let's discuss about our data what kind of data will look like let's consider we have a data something like this we have in columns c1 c2 c3 c4 and so on so this is something our data looks like and we have observations here so th this is one observation another observation three observations like this and so on and we will say like so we will when we refer the rows we will say r1 r2 r3 r4 and so on and when we refer the columns it will be something like c1 c2 c3 c4 and something like that so let's take in a simple example of a data where columns ranging from say c1 to c20 and say we have just for an example let's say we have 1000 rows that means r1 to r1000 if we just take a simple example of decision tree what will happen in decision tree decision tree makes a decision on variable so column c1 to c20 these are variables these are 20 variables and let's say there is column 21 which is the target variable or it is also called independent variable so these are variables which will help to predict this variable c21 so c21 will be some function of columns c1 c2 up to c20 so these variables can be numerical these can be categorical these can be ordinal variables let's consider for now like these are numerical variables so it can be used for categorical as well let's say these are numerical so we could have done some logistic regression also here but here we are talking about why the random forest instead of decision tree why what's the need of decision uh, a random forest so if we plot decision tree what happens here is it makes decision it ask like this if c1 is greater than 20 if it is yes then check if our variable c21 which is target variable it can say it is binary it is either 0 or 1 this is what we want to predict we want to see that on the basis of these variables c1 till c20 what is our target variable this is actually depending on other variables c1 to c20 so the dependent variable c21 so when we say let's say c1 is greater than 20 we see that most of the observations like r1 till r1000 most of them out of 1000 let's say 90% of 90% of rows are let's say zero 90% of rows have c21 as zero when we say c1 is greater than 20 so whenever we see c1 is greater than 20 we have learned in this training data that if we see c1 is greater than 20 then 
the target variable which is C21 will be 0. So we can predict that it is 0, the class 0. If it is no, then we see that say 95% of the observations have C21 as 1. We will say we will say this class target variable as 1. Now we can split more and more. We can again ask questions. These are binary questions. Yes or no. Again it will ask some questions like this. Here it will ask if C15 is less than 5. If yes, no. Then again it will split like this. See how much percentage of the observations has 0 1. If it is 50 50 percent then does not make sense to split here because because that node is impure. These are nodes. So these nodes are very much pure because 90 percent of the observations belong to the class 0 and this is also pure node which belongs uh, which have all the observations almost 95 percent of the observations which have class 1. So this is decision tree where it just splits the whole whole space of the data which is C1 till C20 all the independent variable space in 20 dimensions in this case is a split across by the binary lines binary hyperplanes it is yes or no right to left and it in this way it just splits and then just predict whether the class C21 will be 0 1. So it's learning like this so what's happening in random forest. So in random forest what happens now in random forest was what we do is we do randomization randomization in, in the sense we do randomization in the independent variables like C1 till C20 and also randomization in 1000 rows. What does that mean by randomization that means whenever we are creating a random forest that means we are not creating a one model, one decision model. We are creating n numbers of trees, decision trees. So let's say we are creating 10 trees. Means because it is a forest that means we have many trees. And what does that mean many trees? That means 10 trees means 10 models. Of what? 10 models of decision tree. Decision tree. So what will happen then when we have 10 models of decision tree when we are trying to predict on testing data what happens is each of these 10 models give its answer when we feed any row let's say so this was R1 to R1000 this is training data let's say R1000 to R 2000 is our testing data set. Now let's say we just feed one, just we, we feed one uh, row, let's say R1000, R1001, 1001. This is our testing data set which is unknown and we are just feeding one row of that. What will happen? This random forest has learned from the training data set and a random forest has created 10 models of decision trees because we have given the parameter which is n tree which is 10 trees and 10 models of decision tree so then this when we feed this row the aim of model is to predict on the testing data that means given a row we want to know whether this we, this observation will belong to class 0 or class 1 which is the target variable so when we feed this ob observation what will happen all of these 10 models will predict something. Let's say there are 10 models. Let's say first one says 0, second one says 1, then third, then fourth, then fifth, then sixth, then seven, eight, nine, and 10. These are just an example that first model predicted that this is 0, second model predicted this is 1, third like this all this 
so if we see if we count then we see that the average on an average 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have more number of 0 so we will say that random forest is predicting 0 instead of 1 though some of the models decision tree model is saying it is 1 but most of the models decision tree models are predicting 0 that's why random forest will predict 0 it's like that instead of one decision tree it was just a one learner now we have 10 learners they have more experiences and they are then they are just sharing and then averaging the experiences and then by that it is just predicting on the experiences of all the learners so how does this random forest learns and what is randomization in this case so when the 10 models are built let's say first model is built so first model decision tree will be built so we will take some number of columns that is called uh, in our if you plot it is m try this is a number of uh, columns which you want to take while building this model on the training data set let's say this m try is we have 20 variables we can choose any five so we can choose any five variables out of these 20 no there is no fixed thing that you have to choose first five or last five no condition on that you are purely free and it is randomized so choose any five it will be randomly chosen five columns and this model will choose five columns and on those let's say it chosen c1 c6 c13 c17 and c20 let's say it has chosen first model has chosen these columns and on the basis of these five columns it will again ask the questions and split like this so this is first model decision tree likewise we have the second model it will have another model like this another decision tree likewise we have 10 models each has their own learnings and in the time of predictions on the testing data set we learn that each of these models will predict something on the classes and we can get an average of all these models it will say that most of the models are predicting zero then that observation will be zero otherwise it will it will be one so actually basically what is happening is it is actually reducing the variance in the data so if we have predictions on the testing data set we fit some uh, decision tree we take another sample and then again fit decision tree during the predictions we see that the predictions are not fixed but it is varying a lot but when we create one model run one random forest we have many models many decision trees and they have when we average those predictions then the variance reduces so in this way we can predict more accurately i hope you have understood this thing please do like and subscribe to my channel and hit the push button so that you can uh, get the notifications in future so thanks for watching this video bye bye